shout out to Shanice B and Miss Boo Boo Kitty. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular uploads and your chance to be included in shout outs for future videos. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is just a simple recipe. Uh, my sister messaged me a few days ago. Actually, she rang me and she goes, hey, you know, I'm, I'm running a little low on uh, the soaps for the kids. And um, the youngest is three, so three, five, and seven. Um, they're my nephews. So I make um, this recipe particularly for them. And I use uh, lavender and cedar wood. So it's 3% lavender in here and 1% cedar wood atlas with the um, natural vitamin E. And um, it's totally safe to use that on kids three and up. Uh, so generally I center this spa with lavender and in here is the olive oil. So this recipe 65% olive oil, 2.5% castor oil, 2.5% sunflower oil, and that's 30% um, coconut oil in here. And I will be uh, waiting for my live water. It's just outside cooling. It's a bit, no, it's humid here today, but um, it's uh, much colder than it is that it has been because it's been really sticky here. So it's partially melted. So I will add the lime water when it's 40 degrees because this is partially melted. And just to make sure that the coconut oil is fully melted and then I will combine my soft oils to the coconut oil. In here, um, the soft oils I already mentioned and I've got 3% blue French clay, which I usually add to the um, this, these particular bars for my nephews. And I've added 3% goat's milk powder as well, full cream goat's milk powder. And someone actually asked me in a comment, I think it would have been either last week or two weeks ago from another video, um, are they able to add milk powders to um, their cold process soap recipe? And absolutely you can. I always recommend whether it's coconut milk powder or goat's milk powder or just full cream milk powder, doesn't matter which... Uh, version you're using or which type you're using it's totally fine uh, it will be beautiful to use at that ratio so that's no problems whatsoever so what I usually do is is I get my stick blender and I will uh, give this a quick whiz and I will do it a few times as well before I combine it in here just to make sure that the clay and the milks are totally mixed in well And with this particular goat's milk powder, I actually get it from Heirloom Body Care. Mm. And you can actually smell, like it's got a, you can smell the, the goodness in it. It's got a really nice milky aroma. Of course, it's got that um, aroma on goat's milk because it is significantly more pungent than cow's milk. Um, but for the kids that absolutely love, and my sister, she uses it as well. She goes, um, she loves the goat milk and this particular recipe. And I'm going to make a kilo batch. So also my sister requested to make them in these small little molds. I haven't used these in a really long time. I actually had to find out where I put them, so I finally found them. So they're just nice little, you know, small molds with the imprint 100% handmade in them. So I'll be using some of those. And I'll be using uh, three of these. I've got a few more. I can't seem to find them. But anyway, that's all right. Um, and these are, I don't really know what these are, <laughs> to be honest. I have no idea. But I found these oh, probably five years ago at Big W here in Australia. And they're just silicon. And these are actually the first ones I ever used, ever. My first, very first batch of soap, which you've probably seen me mention the 70% almond oil, 30% olive oil recipe. And it was incredibly soft and I didn't use sodium lactate salt or any of those stuff when I first started. Um, but these are really nice rounded um, silicon molds. So I will um, pour a, I'll do three of those. And I will also um, do one of these as well. So these are hearts. I haven't used these before, but I just have these lying around. So I'll use some of those and those and majority of these because these were, these are what 
were requested of me. So I'll put those aside. I'll be um, adding the uh, sodium lactate to 12.2% here, and this is a 12 kilo batch, so um, sodium lactate. And the salt, and I always get questions uh, regarding this. When do I add the salt and sugar? I'm just gonna refer everyone to come to this video because I seem to be answering that, uh, that same question over and over. And I always add my salt and sugar to the distilled water. I dissolve it in the distilled water before I add the lye because if you add it after, it will clunk up and it'll just stick together and it won't dissolve. So always dissolve your salt and sugar in the water phase before adding the lye to the water. And the sodium lactate you add when the water is, uh, the lye water is below 50 degrees Celsius or you can add it at trace. When I first started using sodium lactate, I added it at trace and it, I didn't notice any difference. It still functioned and it still worked the same as adding it to the low water, but I just added it to the low water to get it out of the way, especially when working with recipes where you have to kind of uh, be quick. I tend to um, try and minimize what I have to do around that time so I can quickly split the, the batter and the batch off and color them and uh, scent them accordingly and either do you know a nice design in the mold or in the pot saw. Um, so I just become used to adding it to the lime water. Right, so the lime water will probably take a good half an hour to 45 to cool down to 40 degrees Celsius when I add it to the coconut oil. So I'm going to head off and maybe get something to eat and um, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so my lime water is at 45 degrees. I think it's fine to add that to the coconut oil. Um, and the reason why I do um, just reduce, because usually I make cocoa oil, it's my favorite recipe, as you know, but I reduced it by 5% and I, um, for this recipe, you know, I've made a couple of times before, and I add 2.5% each of castor oil and sunflower oil. And the reason why I do that is because they really, even at that low percentage, they really do add a significant amount of lava and bubbles to your recipe. So even adding them at small amount, it really uh, makes a big difference. And uh, sunflower oil is to sustain a really nice lather and obviously castor oil is to boost the lather and the bubbles in your bar. And just having even at that low temperature, uh, temperature, having at that low concentration starting from 2.5 really, really does make a difference. So I thought I'll just point that out as to why it is at those percentages. And I will do a lather test in the future. Unfortunately, I have no uh, of these bars uh, lying around. They've all been used up. So in a few weeks, I'll do a lather test for this recipe and a few other recipes that you've seen me make over the last couple of months. So anyway, now it's time to combine everything and uh, make, this, uh, make this soap. So let's get to it. <laughs> 